Well, hello there, guys. Here we go again. Another little chess study. Why to move here? We have a knight which can be taken, but we have this pawn two steps away from promotion. Our king is too far away, so we cannot really help. But we have some other smart moves here to, to win this. And of course, this bishop will do everything he can to stop our pawn and to take our knight. Well, well, white to move here, and uh, you should uh, go ahead now and see if you can find the solution yourself on how white wins this. Go ahead. Okay, here we go. So, as said, the king is too far away. Our knight is hanging and simply playing f7 to, to cover our knight and to threaten uh, to promote is not giving us anything. Black will simply play king e7, and we will lose our pawn next move. Even if we can do this uh, knight c7 to attack the bishop first, he can simply move the bishop away somewhere, maybe all the way down to h1. Just keep it way away, long away from uh, trouble, and then the pawn will fall next move, and we don't win after that. So instead, the starting move, I think you've seen it, it's knight to c7. This is a sham sacrifice, as it's called, because black cannot take it. If it does, we simply play f7, the pawn cannot be stopped, and if we get a queen here, it's very easy win after that. And also, by playing knight to c7, we're attacking this bishop, so... The king cannot really move. He will lose his bishop. He has to move it. The question is where? Look at this now. I mean, if black plays, example, b7, we start with a check on e7. And we are threatening two steps here. So he has to play king e8. Doesn't matter. We play f7 check anyway if he moves well then we promote so it's not a good idea he has to take it and we get the fork the bishop will lose and the knight together with the king and this pawn will be a easy win for white now the thing is that all these uh, bishop moves almost will have the same uh, same strategy for white bishop c6 it will be the same and we check and we still have a fork here and we can't go to d5 it's it will be taken right away e4 look at this we will do the same because we have a fork here and we'll take the bishop so black will have to play either bishop g2 or bishop h1 so let's look at those Start with bishop g2. Can you see how white wins here? Now, we cannot attack this. Because he will go with the bishop to h3. Cover the space on uh, e6. And we'll save the draw after that. Because we cannot use the knight to attack anymore. So the king to f2 is wrong. We have to start with the same move. Knight e6 check. King comes to e8, and then we attack. Now he cannot go to h3 with the bishop because of the same reason. The fork and the bishop will fall. And wherever he goes, it will be the same. Unless he goes to h1, of course. And it will be the same. I will not show you this because it will be the same variation as if we start with bishop h1 right away. Now white just do this beautiful little tempo move, king f2. The bishop is not doing anything on h1, it's not uh, eh, harming us at all. So let's just do a tempo move to cover these two squares. We already know that we cover all of these. So the bishop cannot really go anywhere. And he still cannot take our knight. Because, of course, we simply promote the pawn. So the king will just do a tempo move also for black to d7. And what do we do now? 
Well, we can simply attack this bishop with king g1. We already know, oh, not that one, that all of these are covered. So, last try for black, bishop f3. And now we win this. Wait, simply playing f7, threatening to uh, promote. King goes to e7. And the beautiful move here, you see it? Yes. Knight e6. Threatening a uh, the, the promotion here because the it's covered by the knight. We cannot take it. Then we promote anyway. And instead, if back takes the pawn. At last, the bishop will fall. There's a check. And the bishop will fall. And again, king, knight, this pawn will easy win this against these two pawns i'm not going to show you all the variation we just bring our king over here and the knight over here and then we start uh chasing the king away and take these pawns so that's how we win this as uh, white we really can catch this bishop with only our little knight here and the king we can catch this bishop wherever he goes all the way through this diagonal really beautiful uh chess study i think Hope you enjoyed it too. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.